Hey everyone, so a couple of weeks ago Articulate came out with an update for Storyline 360 and that update allows you to publish your courses to video format which is extremely handy uh, and I think people have probably been asking for this for quite some time. So there are a few uh, things that you need to do when you're kind of setting up your course to be published to video because you really need to remove all of the interactive components. So I've already kind of done this with the opening slide here. So instead of the clicking this icon to jump to the next slide, I now have it jumping to next slide when the timeline ends, which is 10 seconds. And then we're going to set up this uh, second slide together. So as you can see here, I have four layers. Uh, the layers are tied to these buttons here. Um, I'm not going to bother setting up the uh, um, previous or next um, buttons because I it really doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going forward. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do here is first we need to remove the when the user clicks because they're not going to be able to click these buttons in the video. Uh, so we need to kind of uh, force the movement. So what we're going to do is we are going to show, so the first button here, button one, what I'm going to change the trigger to is show layer, button one, when the timeline ends, and the timeline of that slide. And then I'm going to delete the uh, click trigger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to delete all of our other triggers here. And then we're going to go into each layer and have show layer the next uh, layer when the timeline ends. So I'm just going to copy this trigger. I'm going to paste it here. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at five seconds so that we can just kind of see what's going to happen. I don't think we need to uh, show enough time to read all of this text um, for this example. So we're just going to paste that trigger and change the layer appropriately for each layer. And then we don't have to put anything on the last layer. And so now this should flow like a video. So we're going to go to publish and then I'm going to go to video and what I want to do is I'm just going to change the title to video and I'm going to change the location to my desktop and then you have some options. So in size and quality, you can select the drop down, and by default, it's set to the highest quality. You can change that if you'd like. Um, I think we'll just leave it for now. We'll leave all the defaults. So you can adjust your video quality to kind of higher or lower. Um, <clears throat> you can set the same volume level for all audio if there's audio. Um, you can choose if you don't have custom navigation to follow the uh, text actions. So we're just going to follow the slide numbers. So it's going to go from slide 1.1 to 1.2. Um, and then if you want to do anything further, you can also select uh, the ellipses and do a bit more um, customization. You can choose a different folder, and uh, yeah, so that's about it. So we're just going to publish, and then we'll look at the output. Now, it's going to likely take a little bit longer to publish because it's essentially creating this video, um, and as you probably know with courses that have video in them, those often take a long, a longer time to publish um, because they're kind of processing that video. Okay, so now our video has been published, so I'm just going to close this because I'm in, I'm in parallels and I really don't want to open up my Windows side of things. 
and then we're going to navigate to the desktop find our video output and then we're going to have a look at our video now what we should see is we should see our um, video advancing as the timeline ends so we should see our layers changing as each uh, timeline ends of the previous layer so this slides going to end at 10 seconds and then we've got all of our other objects and each of the layers are changing at five second intervals. And obviously I didn't hide the text on the base layer <laughs> for uh, the setup of this slide, so uh, I would revise that, but for the purpose of this, uh, this video, I, I don't think it's necessary uh, to send you through that all over again. And so then at the end of the video, it'll just replay. So if you want to stop that, um, you would need to set up a trigger for that as well. So that's just kind of a, a quick explanation of how you can publish your storyline projects to videos. There is a bit of uh, setup that has to go into it so that you can kind of get your video to appear as you want it to appear. Um, but generally, it's a it's a pretty easy pro process to uh, to follow. So, if you have any questions about this um, demo, please don't hesitate to let me know, and I will see. You